this is Stampy, and welcome back to my let's play on Pokemon Moon. I am here, still on Pony Island, and oh, I think I found a Zygrade cube creature thingy. There's loads of them over the place here, I just keep finding them everywhere I look at the moment, and oh, oh there's, a rare, there's a rare Pokemon, oh, I missed it! When there's ripples like that, it means there's like a good Pokemon there, and I'm always just too slow, I always just arrive as they're disappearing. Like, I show up as they disappear, essentially, so... <laughs> I need to be a little bit quicker with the, the old fishing rod, but that uh, is not why we are we are here, though. We're trying to uh, track down Hapu, who kind of said, like, follow me, and then charged off ahead. <laughs> and we're trying to, to track down after her, but we have found her her mudstale, so I reckon she's got to be uh, somewhere close by. And uh, Lily uh, is hanging out here as well, so are we walking through there? The Ruins of Hope. What is this place? The air feels so oppressive. But But if we go in there... Maybe Nebi will return to normal. The people believe that the guardian deity of these ruins, Tapu Fini, can wash away any impurities with its mystic water. That's right, it does, Stampy. I'm going to give it my all so that we can return Nebi back to normal. <laughs> so, just you wait, Nebi. This time I'm going to be the one who saves you. Come on, Stampy, let's go. So yeah, if you don't know what happened to Nebby, if you're wondering uh, why do we need to save Nebby, Nebby kind of got turned into like a, I don't know, like a little medallion type thing. And oh, I went, we went to another ruin, didn't we? We went to somewhere else that had these giant blocks and I couldn't move them. Okay, I can head back there. Now I have my champ. That place in the desert, do you remember there? Anyway, sidetracked. If we're going to break a path, we need to move these huge rocks. That's what Hapu's grandmother said, isn't it? Uh, 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 oh. I don't think I can do this. It, it's heavier than words can even express. We'll have to borrow Machamp's formidable strength for this task. I read about it once in a book. If I remember right, it said, When getting a ride from a powerful Machamp, trainers can activate Machamp's shove by standing before a rock and pressing B. And if we find ourselves getting frustrated, we should probably remember to step outside again for a bit of perspective. Okay, basically, if you make it so you can't succeed, step, out, step outside and it will reset, is essentially what they're, they're saying there. I love the way it's said in like, oh, in an old history book I read once that press B to move the blocks. <laughs> right then, let's think about this. So can I, can I pull the blocks? That's the, the big question. Yeah, I know. Can I, can I only push them? How do I? Oh, I'll press B. I'm, I'm trying, I need to remember what the book said. Aha! Okay, so B B is to, to push it. I just tap B, though, and it looks like it pushes it along, like, an entire block's worth. I think... I don't know if I've messed myself up here. Look, so I can push... I can push this one to the right. Oh, yeah, if I push this one to the right... Now, if I push it in that hole, is it just going to drop away? Or is that going to, to kind of make a path that we can walk across? That's the, the question. But yeah, what I was saying about before that cutscene. So remember ages ago, I went to that um, that desert after I first got my Zygrade when I was leveling it up. And uh, there was another room just like this with all of these giant blocks. And I was like, ah, I will come back here later when I can move blocks. But I can now move the blocks. And I was that it? Is it just the one puzzle? That was easier than I expected. <laughs> right then, looks like this is where, where Hapu is. So... Oh, is, is this the trial? Is this secretly the trial? I've read about them, you know. Alola's sacred ruins. The guardian deities worship them. They go wherever they want, so it's not easy to meet them. According to the book I've read, but if they are summoned here at the ruins, they do sometimes appear. And there's, there's, there's our little Nevi. Probably not as cute as it did look before, but that is still pretty cute. The book says that they are well capri uh, capricious. Encounters uh, with them do not always end as you hope they will. Maybe that explains why even coming here to these ruins hasn't evoked any response from Nebi. Oh, there's Hapu. She looks like she's wearing Mickey Mouse gloves. Just an observation. <laughs> What's that thing, though? I give my thanks for your blessing. 
As Kahuna, I will do my best for the people. She is the Kahuna and the people of Alola. <laughs> and now she's smiling. She looked all grumpy at first, but there she is, back to her, her normal smile. <laughs> oh, so you two were watching, were you? The Kahunas are chosen by the Pokemon we worship here in Alola, our sacred guardians. They are chosen from among the people living on the island each guardian watches over. Lily told me that you're pretty new to our parts, eh, Stampy? You came to Alola from far off. You must be really something then. I heard how you were even given a sparkling stone by the Tapu, even as a stranger to our shores. Don't ask me what her voice is. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> my grandfather. My grandfather was also chosen for his honor, the honor of being the island's kahuna. But he died suddenly some years back, and we weren't left without a kahuna on pony for all these years. I tried to follow in his footsteps, but it was not chosen by the Tapu back then, so I set out on my own sort of island challenge, traveling Alola and trying to grow stronger. Lily, the kahuna you wish to meet is right here. Oh, 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 of course. Then please, kahuna Hapu, tell me about the legendary Pokemon. So, you want to know about Laluna, whom we pay tribute to at the Order of the Moon? E? My mother disappeared into the beast world. I know that she was a terrible person, but she's still my mother. I need to see her again, to tell her something. That's why I want to ask the legendary Pokemon for its help. The legendary Pokemon is the only one who can go back and forth between worlds. The world of beasts, eh? Is that what... Ah, is that what that thing was that came to Pony Island? A beast? Tapu Finny and I tried to fight it, but it nearly did us both in. We didn't stand a chance. All right, well, I'll tell you what you need to know. Oh, thank you, Hapu. Thank you so much. But what I know isn't much. Just that there's a ceremony being held for the legendary Pokemon at the altar. The ceremony usually... usually yeah, blah, blah, the ceremony that uses two particular flutes to somehow give the legendary Pokemon power. This is the Sun Flute. It seems that my mother had it. Oh, that looks to be the flute that they used to reside in Lake Ula Ula. The other is said to be held on Executor Island. I do not know why there of all places, but it has been passed down that that's where it belongs. Executor Island. I think I've read about it before. It's an uninhabited island off the coast of Pony. Isn't that right? Yes, and there's no reason to dilly-dally here. So let's go and speak with the Sea Folks Chief. Lily, you take Mudsdale, and we'll proceed to Seafolk Village. I love the way in all these conversations I just stand there. Like, I just stand there watching, and I'm like, okay, I'll come too then, I guess. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I've probably said about 50 things throughout the entire game. Like, every now and then I get a choice to say one of two things. And, and it never makes any difference what I say. But, like, I hardly say anything the entire game. Everyone just decides everything for me. Oh well, so it looks like um, we got one of the, the flutes, and now we need to go to Executor, Executor Island. I reckon it's, is it this thing down here? Ah, there we go, it is. It's this little thing down here to the, the left. So it looks like we're not exploring the, the rest of the island yet. Uh, we're going to be going back down here. I'm kind of glad I didn't uh, keep on going north in the, the last episode then. Uh, it looks like we're going to be heading up there next uh, anyway, uh, to, to where the, the, the cer uh, ceremony is going to take place. And you know what? I don't need to, to walk like a commoner. I don't even need to be carried by my champ. I have a Charizard, which I can summon with my bracelet, whatever it is. <laughs> and yeah, I can use that to, to fly straight to the, the Pokemon Center in the, 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 the island, which should get me uh, pretty much right to, to where we need to, to go. So... The island is only just across the, the water. I would assume that I'd be able to, to use my, my Lapras to, to get over there. But uh, they kind of wanted me to, to speak to the, the chief. So, as I said, I just do what they say, I guess. So let's uh, speak to the, the chief. Thank you, Hapu. And thank you, Mudsdale. Haha, <laughs> that's what friends do. F friends? An amazing trainer like Hapu considers me a friend? Thank you, Hapu. I will not give up, no matter what. To journey to Exe uh, Executor Island, you should speak to the Chief of the Seafolk. I shall be wishing you your safety. 
<laughs> right, let's go speak to the, the chief. I can't remember what voice I made up for this chief guy. Oh, well, I'll make up a new one. <laughs> That's what I normally do. I never I never stick to their their voices. They always uh, switch around. So it looks like I can't just use my Lapras, though. It looks like we might need to, to get a boat there. It's right there, though. I could, I could basically see it from, from here. I could probably swim there, to be honest. If the map's anything to, to go by, anyway. Did you find her? Yes, and Hapu was made, uh, was made the new Kahuna. Oh, no. Now that's a joy to my ears. Oh, sorry. Woohoo! Now that's a joy to my ears. Her old grandmother must be smiling down on us. Yes, Hapu will do her best for her late grandmother, as I must do for my best, uh, for my mother's sake, and for Nebby's as well, of course. Uh, and so, there's this place that we need to, to go to. Executor Island? Oh, you mean where the flute is? Well, you two need, did meet the kahuna already, and Pony's captain ain't around anyway, so I guess there's no point in waiting on any trial. All right, then. The SS Magikarp will have you there, and you'll think you're sailing in a dream. The SS Magikarp. <laughs> Just a giant fish, basically. It does look nice, though. Lovely curtains, must uh, admit that, at least. I do feel like I could get there in my Lapras. I don't know, maybe the, the map was making it look closer than it actually is, but it really didn't look uh, look that far away. So, apparently no one lives here. Apparently it's uh, uh, not uh, habited by anyone. Bigger than I expected, actually, judging by the, the map. And I have a good guess of what type of Pokemon we can expect to see on this island. Here we are at Executor Island. I heard that this place used to be a trial site. Though that was a long time ago now. You go on. Good luck to the both of you. Let's go find the flute, right? Trainers really can go anywhere as long as they have Pokemon, can't they? I think I'm beginning to understand the appeal. Cooey! <laughs> End endlessly joyous, isn't she, Lily? Well, apart from when something bad's happening, but... <laughs> <laughs> She's, she does a good job of seeing the, the bright side of everything, as I like to, to think that I do. I don't know, what was that? Did you see there was something like the stuff on the floor? Oh, it's just flowers. I thought it moved. I feel like trainers can open up the door to any future, as long as they have their Pokemon. That's what it looks like to me when I see you, Stampy. And Hapu. And Heyu, too. Huh? Ah, what is that, Stampy? It's a tree, Lily. Have you never seen a tree before? <laughs> is this like a tree Pokemon? Or is that an... Oh, it is! Oh, it's one of these! It's the executor, but it's the Alolan ones! Of course it is! <laughs> they just stretched out the, the neck of them a little bit. <laughs> well, I should probably... Uh, I should probably really switch over to my... um. To, to my Growlithe, not my Growlithe for, for this, my, my Poochie, as, as I call it. Uh, yeah, because if there's going to be loads of executors, I think it's going to be uh, super effective uh, against them. And what was that? Ow, that's a way to hurt yourself. Yeah, too right you were damaged by the, the recoil. Let's uh, let's try and finish this off with a, a slam. And oh no, I missed. I missed. Oh no, I'm getting confused as well. Uh, okay, no, it didn't confuse me. Right, let's uh, let's play a safe then. Let's do another psychic and let's finish this off. And then we can go and, uh, and switch it around. And go and get my, uh, go and get my, my pooch out because, uh, yeah, fire moves should be really effective. They look ridiculous though, don't they? Should I catch one? Like, if I get one weak, oh, I pretty should have caught that one then. Like, I'm not going to use it. I've already got a grass Pokemon, but yeah, they look ridiculous, don't they? I kind of want to have one. I want one just for my mantelpiece. <laughs> I don't think you can do that with Pokemon. Certainly not one that big anyway. Phew, that was an executor, wasn't it? I think that the good weather in Alola has let it grow a bit more vigorously than I'd prefer. <laughs> yeah, I think you can uh, you can say that again, Lily. And whoa, how did she get all the way over there? Right then, let's let's switch around then, because uh, Raichu did, did did all right, did all right against the the executor, but certainly uh, could have done better. So, are there any other secrets on the island? I feel like there's got to be more than just the, a flute. Is there anything anything hidden down here? 
I can't see any items around here. Let's kind of go through the, the grass a bit. Let's see if we can get a, another one. And let's see. Let's see if I can capture it. Like, I'm not going to worry too much about getting it down to the perfect health or something. But it'd be cool to have one. Oh, no, no. It's only an execute. I mean, I could capture one of these. And, like, evolve it. I just don't think I can be bothered. I just want one of the big, tall, silly-looking ones. <laughs> like, they, they, this is another ridiculous Pokemon. I know, like... Like, a lot of people like to make fun of some of the newer Pokemon. And I've done it as well. Like, I've made fun of, like, the Sandcastle Pokemon and the bags, like, trash bag Pokemon and stuff. Like, I've made fun of them before. But that is a silly one from the, the original 151, isn't it? It's just a bunch of eggs. It's just a bunch of eggs together. E eggs with faces. That's all it is. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Like, it's funny, but it's absolutely ridiculous. And oh, it's raining now. Oh, it started to rain. Is that it? Okay. <laughs> I guess it's a good excuse to, to go inside the, the cave. Oh, did we just go inside the cave in one way and out the, the other one? Rain in Alola, huh? My skirt got a bit wet. Looking at the rain like this... Reminds me of this one time when I was little. I'd seen it in a movie. A man singing and dancing in the rain. It captivated me so much that I had to try it for myself. My mother spotted me out in the rain and she was so shocked that she ran right after me without even bothering to get an umbrella. And then she smiled and she danced with me in the rain. Of course, we both ended up catching a cold. She let me sleep in her big bed with her. I was so happy that I kept waking her again and again, just to be sure it wasn't a dream. But then she changed and all she would think about was Ultra Beasts and Null and Nebby. They both ended up suffering so much that I couldn't do anything. But you know what, Stampy? Whenever I feel like there's nothing I can do, you seem to show up and you do something. Every time, you just show me that it's possible to do something. Even the first time we met, Nebby was being attacked and all I could do was look on in horror. And at Aetha Paradise, all I could do was wait for you and the others to save me. Whenever I'm in any sort of trouble, you're always there. I... Um, Stampy... What are you going to do once you finish your island challenge? Uh, fill my peck and the Pokedex gets stronger or I don't know. I think she wants me to say, let's say I don't know because I'll be honest, I don't know. Oh, thank goodness. It's such a relief to know that someone feels unsure at times. Even someone like you, Stampy. I think, I think I'd like to become a trainer too and travel together with you, Stampy. It feels weird with me being called Stampy, like I'm just talking to myself. Like someone listening to me like through the door thinks I'm a crazy person going, Hello Stampy, how are you Stampy? Let's travel the world Stampy, like as if I'm crazy talking to myself. Ah! Well, the rain stopped quick. Maybe there really are good omens sometimes, wouldn't you say? Well, I think we can safely say that Lily might have a little bit of a soft spot for me. And she told her friends to tell my friends that she fancied me on the school playground. And that's, that's made me really embarrassed. <laughs> she, well, I don't know if she fancied me. She certainly likes me. When I say me, I mean Pokemon in-game version of me. I'm annoyed it stopped raining, so I was going to do the, the, the dancing in the rain by doing the, the spinny dancing move like this. <laughs> but sadly, uh, it stopped raining before I had uh, a chance to. But then again, we are... Oh, wait, I'm going back the way we came. I got confused. I thought we went inside the cave and up the other side, but I guess we uh, we didn't. Yeah, uh, I'm getting sidetracked again. We need to, to track down the, the flute. I reckon it's going to be inside here. Oh, can I not get inside? Oh, I found a big pearl. Is that all there is in here? Okay, I assumed we we're going to be going inside of the the cave, but it seems to to be shut. It's a tiny island, actually. It's literally just this this little section up here is kind of all there there is here, to to be honest. And here we go. Here's the flute just sitting here. See, if this was real life, someone would have stolen that like ages ago. Stampy. A flute is placed on a very odd pedestal. Will you take the flute? I will. But I do have a suspicion that something's going to to happen. Is something going to happen? No, nope, maybe not. Now we both have the Sun Flute and the Moon Flute. I don't know if it really will summon the legendary Pokemon, but we can at least try. If nothing else, we'll have sounded the flutes in offering like people used to do. So thank you for coming this far with me, Stampy. Let's go and meet the Chief of the Sea Folk and get back to Pony Island. 
Let's let's go back on our SS Magikarp <laughs> and go and uh, and travel back to to Pony Island. I wonder if I was playing Pokemon Sun, if I'd have got the the Sun Flute there instead. Look at you, trial goer. You going to the altar to play the flutes? The altar lies all the way through the vast Pony Canyon. It's a long road there. The path is like nature's own trail. Good luck to you, friends. And why don't you stop and tell Hapu that you're off before you go? We sure will. Right, so that's uh, both of, uh, of the flutes done. Hopefully, we are going to be able to, to summon this legendary Pokemon. But uh, yeah, I guess uh, we're going to, to have to, to wait and see for that. And uh, we're also going to have to wait and see uh, what's going to happen next at all. Because that is the, the end of this episode here. Uh, as always, uh, I really hope that you uh, enjoyed this uh, this episode. Like, like I'm, I'm loving playing this game so much. And whenever I really enjoy something, I'm always just like... I hope everyone watching it is enjoying watching it as much as I'm playing it. Like, it's always hard to tell. There's some games that are really fun to play, but aren't fun to, to watch. And then there's some games which are fun to watch, but actually aren't that fun to, to play. And it seems like, hopefully, Pokemon is one which is both fun to, to play and to, to watch at the, the same time. So, yeah, thank you for, for watching. And I will see you all in the, the, the very next episode. So, yep, yeah, once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye!